Phoenix Drake here for another Pokemon card video and Pokemon code cards. As you can see, I have a massive stack right here. And yes, I'm going to be getting rid of all these by the end of the video. Except, as you can see, there is two Volcanian Elite Trainer Boxes. That is because this one is from a cousin and this one's from a cousin. They're not mine, they're hers, but she wants me to open them up on the channel. So I thought that'd be kind of cool, something extra to do along with our code cards because going through all these would just be kind of boring after a while and I don't really I mean I can talk a lot but I don't know about that much sometimes I impress myself but anyways so I have these two if they don't have plastic on them that's because uh, my cousin took it off but uh, I promise I didn't rig anything I swear I won't I didn't rig anything but yeah we will go through these what will happen is is I'll show you uh, we'll go ahead and open this one and then we will show half of the code cards I'll go ahead and split them right now half the code cards not uneven just a little bit there we go and then we'll open this one i'll show you one half real quickly and you guys will probably have to pause the video because i'm not going to spend like 15 seconds on each code card i'm going to spend like two or three seconds you guys can pause the video go through them if you want and stuff and then uh so this one half of it and then we'll open up the tin and then we'll do the other half so we'll go ahead and get started on this one the last video i did or not the last video but the last video in the next month, which should be in about three or four weeks. That's my last Steam Siege series, and you guys will see that I that's how I got this in the background. Like I said, I had to pre-record, so this is unexpected that I was going to be opening up these on the channel. That's why there's a Steam Siege in the background, but don't worry, you guys will see that in a uh, few weeks, so don't worry. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and get right to it. Here's the uh, sleeves. Really cool. And yes, I got Volcanian sleeves from my Elite Trainer Box, too. Let me open these up and set them off to the side. And then I have a uh, code card, which, of course, you guys can have that because I don't use that. And then we have uh, two of these, and there should be another two right here. I definitely will end up trading with her to get some of this stuff since uh, it seems like with these late trainer backs you're at least guaranteed one good thing practically so I'll probably end up trading I also need those deck separators and stuff so I'll trade with her after I'm done opening up her stuff and doing this video um we have Xerneas uh Gardevoir Volcanian uh which you guys will find out I had a really hard time remembering this name in the video that I opened up that which you guys will see in a few weeks but yeah it was it was rough it was a very rough video and then Xerneas again Gardevoir Volcanian and then Yavaltal I believe that's how you pronounce his name and then our Xerneas set, set those off to the side we have some energy cards I don't really use energies but we got energy so <gasps> and we also got an exclusive piece of cardboard two colors very unique don't see that kind of stuff on the market anymore. Then we got turquoise dice, dark blue, whatever you like to call that. We got that, and we got some tokens for the game, which I don't play the game, but hey, you know what? Extra stuff. And then we got a box. So we'll set that off to the side. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the book, even though I'll show it to you in a few weeks on the other video for that one. But I'll just go ahead and just quickly just kind of turn the pages a little bit just to show you. Kind of you can keep track of what cards you have. Oh, we'll just skip the rest of it. Kind of tells you combos you can do, what's in here, what you can do with it, some information about the cards, stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. All elements in a circle. Harmony. Anyway, so we'll put that over there. And there's a front. And you can kind of see in here the... It's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see all the inside art which is kind of cool i mean you can open up these but i didn't open up mine and i'm not going to be open up hers but it's supposed to be like a wallpaper thing but i don't want to accidentally rip mine because knowing my luck i would so i'm not going to do that so we'll get right to these i will i'm going to separate them by the pokemon and then i will see which one has the most and then i'll do that one first so xerneas has the most so we'll do him first and then um Volcanian and Gardevoir both have two, so I'll do these next, and then poor little Xernia, or Yavalto, all by himself. He'll go last. So, we'll go ahead and start with an Xerneas pack. So, let's go ahead and get to it. <sighs> the pack trick is the same for these, as far as I know. Also, I did find out that uh, the rate of uh, 
you know, the rate of getting good cards has also gone down. So sadly, that means, you know, not as many good cards. But hopefully we'll pull some good ones. Or technically my cousin will pull some good ones. But you know what I mean. Yama, Chimchar, Bergmite, Clauncher, Dot. There's Sui art if you read the illustrator right there. That's Sui. I like that illustrator. We have Ninja Boy, very threatening, about ready to cut a leaf. Anorith. Pokemon Ranger. They have a full art version of Pokemon Ranger in this Steam Siege set, so I want that one. I do not have that one. Then we have a... Oh, that's awesome. We got a break. An Exernius break. You gotta love breaks. They're so cool. All the rainbowy and... I mean, come on. Plus, it's a legendary, so that makes it even better. You know, it was hilarious since I kept thinking there was bottom halves of these. So I kept open up more, hopefully, and I didn't understand why I could never find the bottom. And I'm like, maybe they're just so rare. Then I looked up online, and uh, yeah, there's no bottom. So uh, yeah, my my fault right there, but that's really cool. I'll sleeve that up in a minute. Our normal rare is a jump pluff. So definitely gonna sleeve that up. That's a really nice card. Set that here. It might get crowded on here, so you might not be able to see everything. We'll have to make do just because, you know. A lot of stuff on the table right now. <clears throat> so, so far, starting this off with a break. Not a bad start. That is an excellent start. You know, I was looking it up. I didn't understand how come... Uh, I heard it in one of this other videos that I watched people open up Pokemon cards. And uh, he said that uh, breaks are twice as hard to get. But uh, they're less, like, worth money and stuff. Just because uh, they're not as good playable in the actual game card game so the uh oh dual element that's kind of cool and it's shiny but the uh i don't play the game so that doesn't make a difference to me but it makes a difference to a lot of other people so that's why the price of the breaks are lower than you know the full arts and stuff verse hollow is lampent and our normal year is ya mega so we'll set that off to the side <coughs> our last Xerneas pack before we get to Volcanion and then Gardevoir and then our poor old lonely Yavaltal. So sad. There's the code card. Make sure you guys saw that. There we go. We have Drifloon, Seedot, Sneasel, Ashwat, Fletchling, Fletchender. Ooh, Fletchling and Fletchender. That's kind of cool. Another Zoomeril. A captivating Pokepuff. That looks like too much sugar. Oh my freaking goodness. Another break. That is like... Like people who get the booster boxes that have 36 packs are lucky if they get two. Like two is considered a good box. Three is considered fantastic. Anything higher than three, you know, you're doing something. You're, you know, this is off the black market or something. But it is awesome that I pulled two of these. I am definitely going to try and get these for my cousin. These are, like, really fantastic cards. That is awesome. You guys can just see. I, just think, I still think it's hilarious that it took me so long to figure out there was no bottom halves. And then we got a Volcar Volcarana? I believe that's how you pronounce it. And, yeah, but so I'm sleeving this, this bad boy up. That's awesome. Two breaks in an elite trainer box. That is fantastic. Actually, I just traded my cousin this... <clears throat> the same one who's letting me open up her cards and she opened up a tin and of course you get you know the ex with the tin and everything but it's like she got a secret rare in a full art in one tin i mean come on i mean where's where's my tin i don't have a tin that has a secret rare in a full art in it so i got those two from her a couple days ago so that was kind of cool here's the code card but yeah, so I would like to open more tins like that because I don't know any better tin than that has a secret rare and a full art. Unless you have more than one secret rare, then that would be like really freaking awesome. So you have Litleo, Rufflet, Fungus, Ponyard, Joltik, Anorith, Halucha. Kind of interesting. Looks like almost like paper. Someone cut out paper and made the actual picker out of picture out of uh, cut out pieces of colored paper. That's kind of cool. Then we have Ambi Palm chilling in the tree. Our reverse hull is Tangrowth. It's not a rare, which I thought was kind of weird. Tangrowth has been a rare in the past. And then we have a Bastidon. So, <clears throat> no EXs, but I'm not going to complain considering I think she's had pretty good luck already getting the two breaks. I mean, 
those are extremely hard to get. So there's the code card for you guys. I've noticed that some of these look hazy, like they've been bad printed on some of the code cards, but not that that really matters as long as the numbers are there, but apparently they don't take as good as care as their uh, code cards as they do the actual cards. But I'd rather have it the code cards suffer rather than the actual Pokemon cards. So we have uh, Litleo, Rufflet, Fungus, Ponyard, Joltik, Lampet. We got the Reverse Hell earlier, so now we have now she has both. Azumarill, Special Charge. Our Reverse Hell is Clauncher, and we got a Hollow Ampharos. That is cool. I like that Hollow. Very nice. I like the night sky and everything with that. That's very nice and the rainbow effect. I notice they really like rainbow and everything. It's like, you put the shiny in the eyes. The aim, eyes gotta be rainbow. You put the shiny in the sky. The sky's gotta be rainbow. You put it on any part of the card, it has to be rainbow. Which is cool, but that's a lot of rainbow. We have a Gardevoir. I uh, used to collect the wrappers for these, but I stopped collecting them. Just because I knew... Uh, I just I'm I like art so the art on the packs were like really cool so that's why I was keeping them so but I mean I don't collect them anymore I just don't I mean I still have the stash that I had from earlier but I just never got rid of them just in case but yeah we have Drifloom, Seedot, Sneasel, Oshawott looking cute, Fletchling, no Fletchender, Anorith, Claw Fossil and Earth. Okay, so we missed the Fletchender, but we got these two, so that's a pair. We have Nuzleaf. Ooh, a Reverse Rare Armaldo. That's awesome. I don't have that one either. There's going to be a lot of cards that I'm going to want to trade for. She got, she's getting a ton that I don't have, so that's kind of cool. Set that down there, and then I got a Hollow Pawn, or not Pawnyard, oh my gosh, Bisharp. This even right there in front of me. Of course I would. And there it is, really nice. It looks like fire or something right there. I can't really tell, but that's really cool. And it's dual element, and he's shiny, so even awesomer. I really like that they have dual element and shiny in this set. I'm going to sleeve up the reverse hollow rare. And set these off to the side. Our last guard of war, and then we get our... Okay, come on, open. Revolto which is our last one. Maybe we can end it with a bang. I mean, already the the Elite Trainer Rex has been fantastic with the two breaks and the um, Reverse Hollow Rare and a couple Hollows already, and we're not even finished. So that that's a pretty great box from right from the get-go. We have Nidoran, Male, Chimchar, Nosepass, Litwick, Dino, Lampet, Another Halucha, Tangrowth, a reverse hollow is a dino. And then we have a normal rare gastrodon. I think those Pokemon look really ugly. Like, there's just some Pokemon that just creep you out and they kind of look ugly. Yeah, this is definitely one of them. So I'll put that right there. We got a Yavalto. Maybe we'll end it with a Big Bang. If not, like I said, I don't know what she thinks, but I think it's a fantastic Elite Trainer Box. I wish mine was that good. There's the code card. Then we have one, two, three, one, two. Getting a little faster at these. Not super fast, but faster. We have A Palm, Yanma, Mankey, Mantine, Sneasel, Fletchender, Driftlim, Greedy Dice. Don't be greedy. Nidorino. Reverse Hall. Really nice. And then we got a normal rare Drudgeon. So we didn't end off in a bang. But uh, overall, I'll go ahead and show you guys the the good cards for the Elite Trainer Box, and then I'll get to the first half of the code cards. So we ended up with a Break Exernius. We got a Break Pyroar. You see that? There we go. We got a Ampharos Hollow. We got a Bisharp Hollow. Then we got a Reverse Hollow Rare Armaldo. So I'll go ahead and go through these code cards. Like I said, you guys will have to pause the video. Since there is no way in the world I'm going to take like 10 seconds on these, they would take way too long. Some of these are flipped around, so with this relatively, make sure you guys can see that. Here's the next one. So I'm excited to show you guys the, the uh, stuff I'm going to open up in the next few weeks. Um, it's going to be exciting. 
I really hope you guys like what I show. Like I said, I pre-recorded like a month's worth just because uh, I have like summer ending. I have vacation. I'm going, I'm going to Chicago, which I probably will end up posting a video of me in Chicago. Just a whole bunch of pictures and small videos, something like that. Because uh, I want to share with you guys and where I've been going and what I've been doing. And then I'm also starting my senior year in high school. So I got to get stuff around for that. So, oh, that one's upside down. So that's what I will, um, that's why I'm pre-recording so many videos is, uh, cause I want to be a few weeks ahead because last thing I want to do is like school to start and I have like, you know, there's always that one teacher or something that's like, oh, just to let you know, uh, we're going to have you write like a one page essay just, you know, about your summer. And you're like, well, thanks. Thanks a lot. But that way I don't have to work around that cause I stink at writing. So the one page would take me like eight years. That's, uh, that's just if I'm quick. But yeah, these uh, code cards, they are a massive variety of code cards. Like, I have some of these that are from, like, a year or more ago, and then I have some that are obviously from recently. So, yeah, you guys are going to get a massive variety. And I'm sorry if uh, if you don't get any of these code cards. I'm really sorry. But if you do, you are going to be one happy person because of how many there are. Because I literally probably have, I don't know exact numbers, but... I think I have about a hundred of these to show, so hopefully you guys are entertained, you guys are able to get these and that they help you rather than me, because like I said, I don't play the game, so I'd rather you guys benefit from it than me, because if I don't play the game, there's no reason to keep them, but if you guys play the game, then you guys can use them, and uh, I don't think I'm ever going to play the game. But if you guys uh, really think it's something I should really check out and you guys like me to make a video about it, I could possibly see about it later in the future. But as of right now, I'm not really up to doing that kind of stuff. Just because it, it's never been my fancy. It's just, I don't know. I always thought it, it's like I like chess and I like checkers and, you know, I like uh, playing like games with decks of cards and stuff. But it's just when it comes to like card games like Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon... The most I've ever done with Pokemon is collect, and that's it. i just not a big fan of the whole game. Man, there's a lot of these. And just to think, this is only the first half, too. The other half, I still have the entire other half to go. And although I'm giving these to you all, I bet your fingers will be quite sore after typing these in. Or, you know, you guys probably will spend forever pausing the video and getting these. So, sorry about the whole pausing, but... I just figured I knew I was going to need these someday since I knew if I just kept holding on to them and holding on to them, I could use them somehow. And I am. Okay, so. Show that last one. That one was a little too quick, just in case. Okay, this is the last for the half. And then I'll go ahead and open up the Xerneas EX 10. So there's that one. There's that one. I also noticed they put the website in every single one, which I think that's good for advertising, but it's like I wish sometimes they'd like mix it up on these because it's like the same thing. Like I know they're code cards, who cares? You know, you just throw them away after you're done. But to me, I think it'd be kind of cool if they put like new products because some people don't know that on PokeCenter.com you can get special products earlier than they're released in stores. So I think that would be really smart if they like put advertisements for their like stuff like that that you can only get online before it's released. I think that would be a very smart idea, but not. we're just going to repeat the exact same thing because uh, that's what they like to do. But they have done a really good job with uh, the art in the Steam Siege um, packs. It's been really good, although I have noticed the Steam Siege theme is there's not many cards with the Siege, Siege theme. There we go. Low glare there. So that's a little bit of a... Bummer is that there's not as many Steam Siege art, but, uh, you know, it's still really good art, still really good cards. Obviously, you guys saw the breaks. Those are really awesome. So, um, I can't wait to get more of those. I don't have a ton of those. I have, like, three or four from all the breaks that they've ever made. Okay. Dear gosh. There is our huge pile that we have gone through. And that's only half. Only half. So I'll go ahead and open up the Xerneas break. Like I said, or not break, EX. Um, like I said, the plastic's off. That's because she took it off. So I promise I didn't mess with any of the cards or anything like that. I promise you until the day I die, which hopefully is not soon. So 
So we got to get this out without hurting it. There we go. And we have our Exernius EX. Really nice. It is promo number X and Y149. 149. Really nice. I like the lighter colors on this one. Really nice. I'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Eh. Over here. There we go. Really nice card indeed. Okay, we have our... Oh, oh, look, another code card to add to our, you know, 100 or two that I have. Fantastic. Um, eh. You know what I think it's really funny is, like, they have all this room in the tin, and they only give you four packs, and then the rest of the room they just fill with, like, air. Really, uh, really convenient. So, yeah, there's the tin. You get to see... There's... Sir, you have Altal. I forgot his name. And then they have the back. If you want to pause and read that, you can. I'm not going to, though, so. Set that in the background. And then we have a Fates Collide. We have a, another Fates Collide. We have a... Brit wow, that one's heavy. Breakthrough. And we have a Roaring Skies. So, I think we'll do Roaring Skies and uh, Breakthrough last, because... Actually, we'll go newest to oldest. So we'll do Fates Collide, then Breakthrough, and then Roaring Skies. So, we'll start with Lugia. One of my favorite legendary. I love Logia. Logia is really cool. I especially think it's really cool that he can like go into the ocean and like pretty much make tsunamis or hurricanes whenever he feels like. To me, that's like freaking awesome. And I kind of like him better than all three legendary birds too, just because it's like seems like he can he can do everything they can except better. Snivy Meowth. Wow, that's that's a menacing Meowth. Very threatening. He could throw a rock at us. Gothita. I know that's from uh, Legendary Treasures, that art. Ultra Ball. Kabuto, hiding underneath a rock. Kangaskhan, reaching for the skies. Our Reverse Hollow is a Lasses Special. So that's cool. And we got a Normal Rare Renuclus. So I'll set that off to the side. And another, our last Fates Collide before we get on to the Breakthrough and the Roaring Skies. I'm starting to see Roaring Skies and X and Y and stuff uh, starting to come out of the stores. So you don't see them that very often. Just like one of the packages I'm opening in the next few weeks is going to be some Plasma Packs. I found in a store, which I have not seen them in a long time for me. So I was excited to get one of those and open up some Plasma Packs. So we have a... Mo Mincino, Rayolu, Binacle, Solosis, Spoink, Energy Reset, Servine, Ultra Ball. We have a Reverse Hell, Altaria, Spirit Link. And we have a Lugia, not Hollow or EX or anything like that, but I mean, Lugia is awesome, so I'm still happy she got that. I'll probably try to steal that from her. Then we have Breakthrough. Hopefully she gets one other EX out of this tin, because, I don't know, to me it's like the tins are really awesome that they already give you an EX, but I think it's really nice when you get another one, just because it's like, you know, so many people go out and buy single packs, and it's like half the time they don't get anything good, so I think, you, I think personally that they should put extra good cards in the special packs, like the tins and the late trainer boxes. We have Pan Sage, Pimplup, Magmamite, Noibat, Ralts. Dedene, Reserve, Ticket, Curlia, Bronzer, Reverse Hollow, really nice, and we have a Normal Rare Semi-Sage, Semi-Sage, however you like to pronounce that. If I'm saying it wrong in your opinion, too bad, so sad. Open up the Roaring Skies. There's the code card. One, two, three, one, two. We have Wormpole, Bagon, Binacle, Gligar, Meowth, Tropius, Skyfield, Rayquaza Spirit Link, and we have a Carbink Reverse Hollow. Is that rare? Yep, that's a Reverse Hollow Rare, so that's cool. That'll be going in the sleeve. And we have a Normal Rare Victini, so no EXs or breaks or anything like that. So that's a bummer, but we did end up getting 
from this tin, a reverse holo rare, and we got, and she got, I should say she, got the uh, Exernius EX, so those are really cool, and oh, this is going to take a while, but we have our second stack of code cards, so many, I'm glad I saved them so you guys could have it, but I mean, just so many, it's a lot to go through. And some of you guys will be like, I know you're complaining, but you're not the one who has to go through and pause the video and type it in. He's like, yeah, but I'm the one who's been collecting them and have to move them around my hands. And, you know, I could get a paper cut and that could be lethal. You never know. Everyone's life is extinct when you touch cards or paper. Actually, I did find out I didn't know until not too long ago, but apparently there's a disease where a, literally a paper cut can actually kill you just because your blood doesn't like clot and stop the bleeding so it just keeps bleeding and bleeding so they have to give you like medicine for that totally random not even related to pokemon but we got the paper cuts and i remember that so i figured i'd share my amazing you know doctor knowledge with you i also there's a uh pokemon evolutionaries is a youtubers that i uh watch and uh, one of the people's name is Professor K, because he literally is a professor. He goes around judging tournaments for Pokemon, and he does stuff like that. And he gets uh, he gets to be called Professor professionally. He actually has a card and stuff for that. That's really cool. And I thought that was awesome. He also gets a limited edition play map because he's a professor. So I thought that was really, really amazing and cool. I don't think I could ever do that just because, like I said, I don't really pay attention to the game that much. But uh. Also, I mean, that's he said he had to do it for, like, hours and hours of watching and, you know, judging and stuff. And I certainly could not do that much judging. That is way too much judging. Now, if you could only do it for, like, an hour or two and then he'd be good, maybe I could do that. But he said he did, like, I think he said he did eight hours of judging in one day, which, you know, that's around a normal work day. But still, sitting there watching people play tournaments can be exciting but to me that'd be kind of like i'd be that one judge though there's always that one judge that like falls asleep during the entire thing yeah that would probably be me but yeah i've seen some legendary treasures in here x and y roaring skies stuff like that I've actually got some from cousins and friends too because they don't use them so they just give them to me and eventually, as you can see, they got put to use. <laughs> By the way guys, if I sniffle loud or anything like that, sneeze, I apologize. I have allergies so some days I feel like my head needs to be cut off because I'm dying. So that's one of those days so if I do sneeze or sniffle, terribly sorry. Dual wield. There we go. Okay, so these are the rest. And then the video will be done. And you guys will be hopefully happy with all the code cards you get. And hopefully you get something good. I don't know. I I don't really do this. So I don't know if you get different cards than what I pulled with these. But, and actually, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a lot of... Actually, are these all in the back? No, they aren't. Um, I opened up a lot of flash fire packs, but that's because I had a booster box of flash fire before I started the uh, YouTube channel last Christmas. So there's a lot, a lot of flash fire. So if you like flash fire, I hope you like this video because I pretty much guarantee there's going to be a lot of flash fire cards in here. A lot of them. Oh, fiddlesticks. There you go. You know, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about. Like I said, I can talk a lot. I can run my mouth a lot. But this is just it's kind of long. Eh. Turn this around. I don't really have fancy, like, computer to upload this stuff. So, I mean, if I had the fancy stuff right now, I would totally, like, just show you all these. And then, like, put music in the background and just have it, like, speed through this. But instead, you get, you know, old old-timer entertainment, which is me running my mouth and you guys listening to me and why you guys get the prizes so i hope you guys really like this because 
just took forever for me to get them all together because knowing me it's like i put most of them in the same place but then i actually i kept finding them random places like there were times when i went to go like look inside a suitcase when i went to go pack something and there's like a code card there and i'm like oh i don't know how you got there there's ancient origins booster i'm just gonna start reading the names just because i can ancient origins booster phantom forces booster Phantom Forces Booster. Let's move that around. Oh, there's no name. Mystery. No name again. Another mystery. Okay, that's it. There's too many mysteries. This isn't fun anymore. Oh, here we go. X and Y Primal Clash Booster. There, now we have a name. No more mysteries. Roaring Skies Booster. Another mystery. We have... 20th, 20th Anniversary... Corolla figure box for Dom N. Blastoise. Alrighty. Long name. X and Y Roaring Skies. X and Y Breakthrough Booster. X and Y Breakthrough Booster. Roaring Skies Booster. Now that's upside down. We have X and Y Primal Clash Booster. Hoenn Power Tin Swampert. Phantom Forces Booster, Ancient Origins Booster, X and Y Primal Clash Booster, there's a lot of boosters, Ancient Origins Boosters, Roaring Skies Booster, we have X and Y Ancient Origin Booster, and the last code card, finally, the last, X and Y Roaring Skies Booster, we have G7DXV885VUVN5, which means something random so there we go i hope you guys enjoyed this video i wasn't playing on um the late trainer box and the heck the ex tin but that was exciting i'm glad i could throw those in because me going through all those just having one entire video of that that would i would like blow up at the end so i'm glad i had those and she's probably happy she got some good cards and stuff so there you go guys i hope you enjoy this and i'll see you next time Bye bye